So as the first year of college began for me in the fall of 71, I was a very different person. I wasn't trying to avoid being noticed anymore. In fact, I was kind of okay with being noticed. And that meant I approached school, college, differently. The first difference was I actually began to study. I was paying for that college tuition, and so I was going to get my money's worth out of it. And when I studied, an amazing thing happened. I discovered that I really liked learning. I mean, really liked learning. I had an aptitude and a love for history. I had no idea about that before. Um, and I was actually pretty good at math. Who knew? After a few weeks in school, I saw a bulletin board posting, and this would be the old type of bulletin board, you know, cork board with sticky notes on it, um, and elections for the student senate were coming up. While I was starting to get a little full of myself and all enjoying this idea of getting attention, so I decided to run for student senate, and I did, and lo and behold, I actually got elected to the student senate. And a whole new world opened up for me. People began to pay attention to me, and it was good. At least I thought it was good. Well, it was good at first. Um, I kind of had forgotten all about Donna. That was way out of mind. Had a couple other girlfriends. One worked out. One didn't. But that really wasn't my focus right then. I was discovering how much I loved school. I was enjoying the student senate. Oh, yes. And I did one other thing that was a complete break from anything I had ever tried before. The school radio station was looking for disc jockeys. And before I knew what had happened, I was Mike the Spike, bringing you all the cool hits and sounds from WRAZ, Raz Radio. Kind of amazes me that I can still remember that after all these years. What I didn't see happening as that first school year unfolded was that I'd gotten a little bit full of myself, had a lot of success, gained a lot of popularity, or what I thought was popularity right up front, began to get just a little bit cocky. That almost cost me, but it didn't because that one act of kindness was still lurking in the background waiting to happen and it was going to make all the difference in the world. But I still had no clue that it was coming.